Aiden Ross and more drama, or he did something according to Jamari. Let's see what the frick happened, bro. So the last time we caught up with Aiden Ross, he was running around cosplaying as his daddy, Andrew Tate. <laughs> that's not even cool. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Him doing that for another streamer is one thing. Doing that for Andrew Tate, he's it's crazy. Nuts. It's, it's nuts. 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 Change X, Y, and Z Nuts. about his life, all in the name of becoming the true bottom G. It's the form, the, the best version of myself. The in six months, G. my hair grows back. My body will look right. <laughs> my mindset will be great. Everything will be back None to None of that happens. I'll be stronger and better as a human being. Around a year later, Aiden would divulge information on his stream that many believe got both Andrew and his brother Tristan thrown back in Romanian them, prison. Them jeans strong, Wait, boy. What? Them jeans strong, <laughs> boy. Them niggas look... Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big. And it's never. It's. I'm sorry. He said oh, it's not. Oh, he it's basically put that out now. there. Again, the last time we ever do this. So Aiden. We got to take advantage of it now. The red pill space in general. Aiden. In shape. He got dudes jumping off board, admitting it was all. Bro, you know what will probably happen? They were probably about to leave Romania. DJ, appreciate the sub. Because he said that, they started bringing they started, up the charges yeah. to keep him there. The nigga's gone. That nigga <clears> said this shit alive. Drift. I'm not part of the Manosphere. And that's also probably why, uh, if you look, Tate pretty much stopped messing with Aiden. It's <laughs> gay. And then you also got black dudes who pray every night to God that their skin will turn white. Notice with black dudes, they don't like doing that shit. White guys were all like, yeah, well, uh, I said we. We. Yeah. we. I don't know what I was about to say. That nigga Myra, boy, fresh and boy, they going through it right now. Why they going through it? They going through it. Uh, just in general, just demonetization, getting uh, getting them banned, getting banned off. Of, they got banned off of Twitch, right? <laughs> they got banned off of Twitch for saying <coughs> the S word, S-I-M-P, right? Okay. And he said it. Myron said it. Okay. He was trying to... They got banned for that. Yeah, because remember they made that update rule? You can't negatively say that, like call somebody that. Okay. And you know, they always calling people that. Yeah. They always be like, you end and you imp. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they always doing that shit. So, he tried to blame uh, Fresh for getting them banned, for saying something else. And, and his whole team... Was like, no, dude, you got us banned. <laughs> you got us banned for seven. And he couldn't take And they was laughing so hard at him. He just couldn't. His pride was just, he couldn't take it. Because he one of them niggas, he can't be wrong. Yeah. He can't be wrong, bro. Yeah, but not, it's yeah. Right. Yeah, it's it's right. right. He's white, Justin. Right. See, he's white. Right. Right. Hanging out in whites only Twitter spaces and somehow still embarrassing themselves. Hey, Myron, you're in a hostile area, And I'm not area, scared bro. to have a conversation Just... with you guys because I'm not a pussy. Okay, well, you're, gonna have to either kick you're not going to have a co Or whatever. I'm oh, sorry, okay. sir. It's a f***ing white space. We know that. They've... I know. They're the f***ing rules. No need. I'm serious, guys. Oh, the red... they kicked. They gave him the boot. They they literally said no hard R. I, I really don't. I'm going to be real. That bro, they... People really hate us. They really do, bro. <laughs> over, some, <laughs> over some shit we can't control. I can't get over the fact that Aiden follows this guy, and as a guy, his whole thing is to be like mega racist. Crazy. Pill is losing power and influence every single day. These guys are getting banned on multiple platforms, and I guess Damn. you could say that nature is now healing itself. Either way, Aiden has been back to acting the way he did before he met the Tates, only now he has more money, more clout, and more problems. This man appears to have a serious addiction to gambling. Yeah, what are you at? Come on, pop a squat. I want, but... What, we too broke for you, bro? No, it's not that. Uh, Come just, on, bro. Uh, very degenerate, like very bad. Dude, what? One $500 hand in? Hey, 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 you bro, you too like, cool? No, like 20, 20, 20 is what I do. It's fucked. And he said on numerous occasions that he's had issues with an addiction to lean. As well. That he keeps getting on, bro. Keeps getting on. Huh? I'm not going to lie, bro. I think, <clears throat> I think the thing with Aiden, bro, and I keep saying it, is the people around him. He ain't gonna escape it. I, I feel like I feel like it's the same thing with with Fusi. Like, mm -hmm. there's literally no one around lean, him. Lean, lean, lean. He got lean on him. No one around him telling him right from wrong and trying to help him. 
I think everybody's in his pocket. Yeah, pretty much. As well as mm. other substances. Well, look at him. He's a kid. He doesn't do any real work. He sits on streaming websites and gambling a dumbass. He keeps getting, going on and off drugs. Like the guy's, he's too young to get rich. You can't give a kid a $50 million streaming contract. Still, it's beyond clear at this point that Aiden million. Ross feels untouchable with his newfound spot in the entertainment industry. I mean, he's out here at these quote unquote white parties thrown by Rick Rubin. And to me, I think that this is where the freak off is now migrated to. Now that oh, the laws are. I think that's where it's been. Oh, that's probably I think where. Because I'll never that's forget. That's probably what Diddy were doing his recruitment, boy. <clears throat> I think, because I remember seeing the video. Yeah, she looked gone. She do. There's a video. Ain't that Camilla? <laughs> uh, Camilla Cabell? Yeah. I'm Ain't, not is sure. Is that not her? I don't know. It looked like her. Similar. I don't know. Excuse me. I remember. The video of Aiden after the white party, he looked like he was cooling himself off like they say Meek Mill. Uh, like he was sore. But there's also like different videos of like just stuff that just looks off at the white parties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's her? Oh yeah, she don't never look she don't never look like I think this. This is where the freak off is now migrated she to gone. now that the walls are crashing down around P. Diddy and his affiliates. Regardless of all of that, recently Aiden Ross has been talking crazy about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef and more specifically about people within the California gang community. And now many are starting to take Why issue with that as Aiden him? Ross is pretty much begging them to put a target on his what back. The? And so this whole situation all really started when Aiden Ross would go on to stream with DJ Academics, as well as a Toronto rapper named Top 5, who apparently has a very close affiliation to Drake. Me and Drake are going to link up in a couple of days, and we're going to do this podcast. Oh, and, shit. Uh, and we're going to play Not Like Us video, and we're going to look at every nigga in the video, and we're going to do homework. <laughs> we're going to look for the niggas. I don't fuck around, play around by Aubrey. That's my bro. And so obviously... The craziest part, I'm about to say something insane. The craziest part, them Toronto niggas really like that. They really, they he's serious. He's they dead serious. serious. Them Toronto, he's dead bro, serious. I, he don't, he don't play about Aubrey. He dead bro, serious. The craziest part about them Toronto niggas, for niggas who not allowed to have guns, them niggas killers. I remember we was at a party. I met one. I was like, damn, bro, you smell good. Ah, we, we, we got, I was shopping it with him the whole night. He was like, oh, you good, my city. You come here, I dust them for you. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. So within the Not Like Us video, a lot of people from California were featured, both gang affiliated and not. And so I do not think they were very fond of DJ Academics nor Aiden Ross platforming this man top five. Obviously, Academics has always been the biggest Drake meat glazer. Yeah, Academics is a Drake glazer. It's also believe that Aiden Ross yeah. and Drake now have a pretty close relationship. Especially with Kick, so I could... Especially with their close proximity and ownership in gambling yeah. website Stake. And of course, with how much Drake loves streaming, and he's really kind of stepped into that whole realm as well. We were just looking at the shit. It's like crazy, bro. Like, God Oh, my damn. God. You're blessed with your voice. You're blessed with performing. You're blessed with I forgot he did this. Number one. But you're also blessed to have a f missile. Y'all give it up for my ex, baby. Shut up, my boy. And when it comes to top five, you could say that his relationship with Drake might go a little bit deeper, as this guy Ryan claims that Drake helped pay the legal fees for rapper Top Five, who murdered a civilian named Hashim. Oh, Hashim's oh, cousin spoke oh. out against Drake and Top Five in these Instagram oh. stories. Toronto rapper Top oh. Five thanks Drake for paying his lawyer fees leading up to his trial. Shout out Big Bro Champagne Poppy for the lawyer fees and Gary Grill for being the best lawyer in Toronto. To which oh. the victim's cousin allegedly says, Zero clue this was even a thing. This shit hit like a blow to the stomach. Just so we're clear, my baby cousin was murdered in the parking lot of his home. This oh. is a trial about the murder of a kid, a child oh. on the way home from a pizza place, not in no street politics, not a part of nothing. I used to appeal to this man. We all looked up to him. This is the wildest move. Whoa. What the fuck are y'all doing? At Whoa. Champagne Poppy. Hashtag justice for Hashim. Whoa. Whoa, it was a Whoa. kid? Whoa. Was a I've been kid? to Toronto. I treated everyone with respect <clears throat> and treated them kindly. I was raised to respect everyone, even if you don't like them. Facts. Oh. Facts, very true. And I uh, guess this. I mean, I hope he didn't do it, but it looked like he won the trial. That don't mean he didn't do it, but, no. you know? 
This is the apparent Sarah, mugshot from he that look situation. evil in that mugshot. And here is the enlarged version of that original Instagram post where he shouts out Drake as well as this 1812 Declaration of Independence Why as he lawyer wearing, he hired for allegedly helping him beat the case. And what so then both a lot of the, of the guys who used to be host on No Jumper, who are obviously on their own platforms now, oh, yeah, had guys. this to say about the whole situation. He from Canada, either of us? No, he's Jewish, nigga. Where he from? He like... He like, Florida. he like, turn this shit off. This shit well, trash. So Aiden Ross tripping too? Oh, for sure. Nigga, what's up? Yo, he, took, he, took stand. he took a stand, right? And I believe all of these people... That's where it started. That's where it started. Bro. Nigga, <sighs> nigga, so... You can't... Bro. Street beef on the internet is lame as hell, bro. Lame as lame on, as hell. Bro. It's, it's one thing to be the whole, I'm on Drake's side, I'm on Kendrick's side thing. And that's entertainment wise, but keep it entertainment, please. I I just think I think the thing niggas is, being hard on the internet is lame. I think the thing is, hood niggas, hood niggas don't understand how to not be hood niggas. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like that is just they that's, don't understand how to not do that. In yeah, all like spaces. they 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 approach yeah. everything as. The streets. Yeah, you beefing with somebody that streams for 10 hours, 12 hours a day. Bro. Bro, he's a fucking... A 22-year, 3-year-old nigga that's sitting... You, and you a street, street nigga, nigga, bro. Like, that's y'all in two different spaces, bro. Come on. Well, especially AD over here in the corner have been affiliated with California gang culture also, for quite a long time. you... will slap the fuck out of a nigga that was just on the phone with Drake talking about you've been blessed with a missile. The nigga that sniff and and you takes chair. Yeah, that's nobody. To be hey, here, bro. What? <laughs> Come on, bro. What are we uh, doing? So then another guy named Smack would call into his live okay, stream so and had this message for Aiden Ross. Well, one, who is he calling? Oh, I ain't old. Right. And I swear to God, and I swear to God, I'm gonna slap him. And even if his security is from LA, they gonna get slapped too. So if he comes with some out of town security, they really gonna get smashed. It's no fly zone for him. He just he put himself in an equation that he can't get out of. Ain't it, it wasn't that serious, bro. That unless he said something crazy. <laughs> unless he said oh, something. What do we talk about? Unless he said something crazy, bro. It ain't that. Jamar, serious. what did he say? Like I understand you riding for the nigga from your hood. I respect that. Whatever. But you crashing out on Aiden Ross, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not Drake. Not top five. You crashing out on Aiden. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to LA. Please, brother, sister, I mean, auntie, please, please, we buy, please. So he's basically telling Aiden there that he doesn't like the things that he's been saying and that California is no longer a safe place mind, for him to be in the second he right now, down in LA that he's pretty much going to learn his lesson. And like I told you guys before, recently Aiden's ego seems to be kind so of So he didn't say anything crazy. And so this was his response of. to those comments. LA. I'm not banned from LA, bro. I yeah. wish somebody would. I swear to God, I'm gonna go to LA. Nobody's gonna do shit to me. I promise you, bro. I don't give a. F well, well, you antagonize the nigga. Antagonize him. It's like it's, it's like poking a pit bull with a stick. You antagonize the nigga, bro. You poking. You me, poking me, niggas that crash out. Yeah, that crash yeah out. you poking crash outs. Time the nigga out, bro. Like time the nigga out real quick. Ch Chase Tito. Mm -hmm. You poking people that's uh, gonna crash out behind some something stupid. You poking thirty year old crash outs, bro. Oh, you think <laughs> Come I'm scared on, of LA? <laughs> what? I lived in LA for years and years and years. I'm not banned from LA. Fuck that old ass mother. Also, that nigga Sneeko. Sneeko find his way in every goddamn. Oh, the funniest thing about Sneeko, bro. You there with <clears throat> you there with Aiden, but as soon as Aiden starts saying shit, you run up. You, you hiding. You hiding, twin. Ha, ha, nigga, nigga, buddy. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like, I feel like no Sneeko is the ultimate user, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Got that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, but I'm gonna have security smack the fuck out of you. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know, but I'm gonna have security. That's why he said smack, because they threatened him first. Okay. Smack the 
out of you and beat your ass so he's basically having his jack doherty moment right here even admitting that he's going to cause a problem and then have his security take care of it i mean we've already talked about the way these quite literally use security in these completely Dude, Aiden inappropriate doesn't ways, take this serious. and i wouldn't be surprised at all if he's serious about his claim here i mean we've seen what happened with jack doherty almost a year ago when his security guard knocked out that random unassuming guy at a halloween party and now that's turned Make into it. a massive lawsuit mess for him so that could easily happen to Aiden Ross, who obviously has a lot more money. And can we also acknowledge the very rare smart Sneeko moment here, as he kind of slides out the camera frame like Homer Simpson? Obviously, <laughs> it is a smart moment, but why you with this nigga, Sneeko? Not wanting any part of this <coughs> California smoke. I love all. Now look here, California gang affiliates. We don't want no problems either. However, I'm just saying it's lame to be. We doing gotta call a spade a spade, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. Y'all beefing with. Y'all beefing with somebody that's... that don't even take what you say is serious. Yeah, bro. This this nigga not a thug. He not a, he's a fucking streamer, bro. If y'all yeah. gonna beef with anything, beef with the uh top five nigga, bro. Like Aiden got a name, bro, but there's no point. It does nothing for you to crash out on a nigga that doesn't improve yeah. nothing for you, bro. All the Crips and Bloods in LA, everybody. <laughs> Kendrick people have no beef. I don't know. Go start a family. Go 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 do some shit. <laughs> go 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 play poker or chess. You're old. All right, get off get off the internet shit. It's not That's for you, crazy. Buddy. And obviously, I, is oh crazy. no, that was first. That was first. That was first. Because he said you're old. The other nigga was responding to that. Oh, well. on the on the call asking for a massive problem here it's my belief that there's many people who do not have any sort of presence online who would be beyond ready to put an end to this type of talk especially coming from a big streamer like this and this situation kind of started bubbling up back in buy. march when the oh, feature from the song like that would be released and this was aiden's response to that listen bro this is just corny as fuck bro but what you're not gonna do is disrespect <laughs> j cole and drake because i know both their discographies like the back of my fucking hand. And I'm gonna be honest, the only one that I really, really did not really understand his discography, but I know he's talented as fuck and I like him is Kendrick. Months later, when Not Like Us would come out, he would have this to say. Say, Drake, I hear you like I'm young. <laughs> you better have a go to. But it's like, where's the proof? And this song is hard as but why, but where is the proof? I mean, him texting Millie Bobby Brown, trying to give her advice about boys when she Certified was like Drake 14, 14 years old. <laughs> Certified Drake there Glaze. There's a whole video of him on stage. Yeah. There's videos of him in Madison Certified Breer. Drake Glaze. I mean, the list <laughs> kind of goes. Page. There's videos of him in Madison Breer. Who's that? I mean, the list kind of goes on and on, and it's been well documented on this channel, but... Listen, whether he kind of waits or not till it's actually legal, we all know that Drake kind of likes to rock the cradle. This does not make, bro, y'all are so fucking stupid, bro. And then the not like us situation <laughs> would get even funnier as Aiden would continue to cope. And obviously glaze Drake when he's out in public at this club in Vegas and they decide to start playing not like us. Nah, I'm loyal to Drake, bro. See ya. I'm not dancing this shit, bro. This shit cringe. This song fucking sucks. That's so as cheesy? time has gone on and Drake- Also. The, I don't know if that was teaser, but in that clip, right? <sighs> the nigga Drake comments in Aiden's chat. Was teaser's address? Well, okay. Has taken right. a bigger and bigger blow from this not like a song. This is the sentiment a lot of his fans have had. Is like, oh, this song is overplayed. This song sucks dick. When in reality, I'm sorry. Every time that beat comes in, it just still hits the same. It's, it's overplayed. This song. Oh man. This shit is ass. Bro. Not as I mean, it kind of looks like he's about to cry in the club. <laughs> in the oh club, it hit. Just picturing how all these it different hit. Drake Stan accounts have been acting it all hit. summer when they hear this song. Have a good day at school. Like the boogeyman came Let out. Let you learn shit. Like that. <laughs> So I guess my point here is that he's obviously team Drake and he's going to ride for him till the very end. But should any of this actually surprise anyone? I mean, he's out here at the alleged freak off taking pictures with the king freak himself. I'm sorry, but in the uh, back, it's crazy. I guess. Either way, this would be so. Aiden's response to that moment from the AD live stream. Aiden Ross, let me, uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. So come do it. Go to jail for the rest of your life. It's so worth it, bro. Your shitty life. Come on, let's try it. Let's 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 make some magic happen. Come on, try it. At least you'll go to jail for what minimum five years in LA? What is it? 
I'll get, I got the best lawyers of all time, baby. Let's do it. And I'm going to low-key sue you for that. You want to, you know, I can't wait. Yo, let me get that clip again. Put that on my phone right now. Send that right to my lawyer. I promise you I'm serving you ASAP. Don't ever threaten my life again, you big bitch. Go start a family. <laughs> this podcast shit's not for you. Jesus I'm, not, I'm not a gangster. I'm not about that life at all. That's why Jesus I said security is going to do what they're going to do. But now, I'm going straight to my lawyers. So, yeah, he's playing, like, the full hand of the so, annoying streamer once again, card. Once again, you see he's being a streamer. Yeah. You see he's talking about nothing but going to his lawyers and his bot security, bro. It's, it's, What's the point? You can't egg this on, bro. <laughs> And Aiden, you shouldn't be egging this all. Aiden, you shouldn't. Stop fucking playing with fire, bro. Because these niggas will kill you, nigga. They will literally. They don't care, bro. They're crashing out. Like, come on, bro. They're crashing out. You telling people. So they're telling. You're telling. You're telling a hood dude who's participated in hood activities, possibly, who's possibly gotten away with hood activities, to do something to you. If he's participated in, you know, upping the tool on someone. Stupidly, they take that serious. If he's if he's participated in upping the tool on someone, he, he does not care yeah. about anything. The podcast shit is just the way to make money. Like, come on, bro. You <laughs> threatening security is going to beat people up and now saying that he's going to bring out lawsuits on people. And it's my belief that AD got this man on the phone and pretty much told him, hey, it's a little bit more serious than these internet things you normally have going on. And you should really consider retracting your statements if you ever want to be back in LA where obviously all the influencers love to go and do their nasty shit. So then you had Aiden completely backpedaling and dropping Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody told him, nigga, you... I get he wasn't taking it serious, and I think and he wasn't taking it as serious as they was taking. Yeah, because they was taking it serious. They was taking it, and also serious. you can see right there, the nigga Aiden. I guess Aiden tried to sue him, and they talked over it. Like you, you can see. You can see, bro. Love to go and do their nasty shit. So then you had Aiden completely backpedaling and dropping this apology. Guys, I've been uh, I've been talking to people from LA. Uh, I'm I'm actually coming to LA in about a, probably like a couple of weeks. Don't put GGs in the chat. But I do want to I do want to clarify and, and, and take a step back and really you know in the moment obviously I was talking crazy and shit. But I do want to say one thing: LA is to not be fucked with. LA is a serious <laughs> place, and I love LA. Seriously, I love LA. Least least, least the nigga learned, bro. Least because the, the nigga dumb as fuck. <laughs> least the nigga learned, bro. The backpedal was absolutely hilarious. He has to. I'm not saying fuck you to to all of LA because I'm not even joking, bro. People that are uh, in a certain amount of group, rappers, uh, specifically the rapper you guys know I'm talking about. He's scared to say his name. <laughs> bro, LA is the camera. deeper than that, bro. There's a lot of say dangerous it. people out in say LA that don't even talk on the internet. They don't even have an internet. They don't even have. They don't exactly. even care about the internet. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. There's people who have absolutely no online presence who would probably be happy to handle this type of situation. Probably the best. I love California, bro. The, 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 the weather is the best there. You know, <laughs> I love Los Angeles. So, yeah, he seems a little bit shook here. And so, you know, Adam 22 of all people had to jump in. OK, this is reported by Academics TV. Big 22 <laughs> defends Aiden <laughs> Roth and Faith Banks. And this is coming from Big Adam's 22. story where he says, I've disrespected y'all way worse than Aiden Ross and <laughs> <Banks> <laughs> Big 22, nigga. Bro, what kind of... Oh, oh God, my God, bro. Niggas, bro. Oh, my Jesus. Can this, we let... Can we he's let, off the deep end. I can don't... We, can we let that... The, the fucking hood shit go, please, bro? And... Can we let him go? Please. Oh can we God. leave Adam 22 this year, bro? Bro, after his wife got railed, we should have... Come on, bro. Man. Never did, and y'all never did anything to me. You know where I'm at every day, and I'm chilling. You guys make LA look goofy with all these empty threats. So I guess this is really just the day that everyone woke up and decided to put a target on their back. I gotta be honest with you guys, when it comes to No Jumper, I have not checked for them since Adam was giving his wife yeah. away on that reality TV show. And I told you guys back when that whole situation was going on, that that was pretty much Adam relinquishing his spot in both the podcast and the internet <coughs> and game, it, yeah, and that he, he would now be known it. online almost exclusively as the guy as who cup. let his wife get piped out. 
like I predicted back then exactly what would happen. Every time Adam now posts on Twitter, <coughs> he posts on Instagram, the comments are just flooded with people trolling him. No one really takes him that seriously yeah, at this point. Yeah, you can't point. post nothing serious, And I serious, think as a whole, the No Jumper YouTube channel kind of lost most of its momentum. And I'm sorry to anyone out there who was like a huge fan of Adam or the No Jumper podcast, but this is just the guy he's known as now. It's like his whole gimmick. I know, Adam, I respect for you. I would never do that. First of all, I would if never- you respect you, If you respect me, you'll my wife huh what that makes no sense brother bro something is bro, wrong off, bro so bro some off with him and her off, bro some off with him well, and she's her. just in the industry <laughs> she didn't care to begin with i love the language aiden i'm just saying like all right actually i want the mouth i want to get ahead while you do whatever it is that you can do to her cheeks from behind. And I truly believe that this man was 100% he's serious. He's at least half that. serious, But bro. yes, Aiden Ross, he's a fool. Jesus he has Christ. this inflated ego. And like yep. many streamers these days, he's likely going to get himself into a bad situation. I can't boy, stand they were, looking at, I can't boy, stand looking at this Boy, thing, they bro. were about to kill get me. To, bro, I can't stand did, looking did, at did this you goofy see, ass Did thing, you see bro. what happened? No. Boy, uh, uh. I think that's Nate Diaz. I could be wrong. Oh, you talking about that? Yeah, when they chased him. Boy, they were about that. He was, please! I'm sorry! I'm okay. sorry! Just smirk, get this nigga off point. the screen, no, man. Jesus Christ. I think if there's one thing to remember, this tweet kind of emphasizes it. Kendrick Lamar in a big cave watching The Sopranos having no idea that Aiden Ross and the state of Cali are going at it. Obviously, guys, we do not know if Kendrick even cares about this. We do not know if this guy who called into the AD live stream was really like one of his goons as this tweet apparently claimed i think that there's a much higher chance that that guy who called in is just like affiliated with california in some way and he was just kind of trying to let people know that there are individuals who do not really tolerate that type of disrespect but yeah this was really just Jeez, another episode right. of yeah. streamers are stupid part 355 facts bro like pretty much it's stop canceled. stop stop fucking with these hood niggas but they beat the shit out of you or or kill you. Stop stop overreaching, bro. You are, we are internet niggas, bro.